We have uh, broken a couple of stories now about this Tommy Lee brouhaha. Uh, Tommy Lee called the police on his son Brandon uh, after Brandon punched him in the face. Those are facts that are not in dispute, but a lot is in dispute. What started it is in dispute, and who started it is in dispute. Absolutely. So I think with this all really begins with Pamela Anderson appearing on the Piers Morgan show, uh, where she talked about her life and included uh, abuse by Tommy Lee. Now look, we know that Tommy Lee went to jail uh, for domestic violence, and, uh, but, but the past is the past, and he was really upset that she raised it again on that show. Uh, and in fact, right after the show aired, uh, he got on social media and took a big shot at, uh, at Piers Morgan and also at Pam, uh, saying, you know, I, you think she'd find something new to discuss instead of rehashing old Blank. stuff, but I guess she has nothing else going on and needs attention. Now this is, and she says, signed, the abuser, who she texts every day and asks for me back. Okay, so that said, um, now, here's what we know from Brandon's side. Brandon is saying that Tommy Lee was drunk. And in fact, he says the reason he has been spending time at Tommy Lee's house and living there part time. Because normally is, he lives with, he's, he's been living, he'd grown up mostly with Pam. Well, right, but he's on his own but now. He's 21. I mean, he's now, he's right. an actor, a model. So he, but he's living with his dad, he says, because he believes his dad has an alcohol problem, is drunk a lot, and wanted to help him. He says, that he went into the bedroom where Tommy Lee was and said, why are you doing this? And they got into a heat, because he said, well, you're disrespecting my mom. They got into a heated argument. He claims that Tommy Lee lunged at him aggressively and Brandon says, yes, I punched him, but I punched him in self-defense. And what happened was that Tommy Lee called the police, the police came out, they took a report, Tommy Lee said, I want to press charges, and now the police are investigating should, for battery. And we should say Brandon was not there when the police got there. He had Brandon left. Brandon had left. Now, Tommy Lee tells a very different story. Yeah, I've spoken to some people connected with Tommy, and they said that no way did he l ever lunge at his son, and that what had happened is Tommy uh, was at home in bed with his fiance, Brittany Ferlin. Tommy had posted a couple photos on social media of Pamela Anderson, where she's kind of making some goofy faces, um, posted that, and from Brandon's room at the same house, Brandon texted Tommy and said, what are you doing? Take those down immediately. You're humiliating my mother and Tommy, you know, texted back and said, you weren't this upset when she was accusing me of abusing her. At that moment, Brandon barged into the room and told Tommy, get up. I want to fight you. Get up and fight me. Tommy's just in bed right at this point. And this and is again, like, this is based Tommy's, on the sources connected right. with him. Right. And so Tommy is saying that he was just in bed and he was like, I don't want to fight you. You're my son. And Brandon kept challenging him. Tommy's side is that he got up to close the or to open the door for his son to leave because he said, you know, right. get out, Brandon, get out. He got up to open the door at that moment. That's when Brandon punched him in the face and knocked Tommy out cold so badly, by the way, that he was completely unconscious for a good amount of time and blood was coming out of his mouth. At this point, his fiance is hysterical. She thinks that Tommy died. Um, and so she calls 911. Brandon flees at this point, and he, like you said, was not there when cops had arrived. Um, Tommy did go to the hospital. Uh, doctors said that it was a good possibility he had a concussion. And by the way, um, Tommy's side also is that he was not drunk. He only had one glass of wine at dinner, and now, that was so, it. Okay, now the this part is... that doesn't add up to me, though. So Tommy's saying, look, he would never ever hit his his son, and and maybe that's that's true. Um, he wouldn't lunge at him but he does want to press charges against him. That's right. He's very hurt, you guys. I mean, he, I, I he has opened can... his house to his son who, you know, he, the son couldn't stay at Pamela's house anymore because we broke the story that she put the house on the market. Well, or no, sorry, no. she was uh, he has renting own, the house. He, he, does, he, he does have his own place. He is, he is saying that he's staying at his dad's house to help his dad. So there are, but it, can it's- Can I ask a question? Can I ask well, a question? Hold on, we... before you do, it's interesting that Tommy Lee's um, position on this and Brandon's position are kind of similar. You could kind Very of see- Very similar up until, up until the until, moment of contact well, but, is but, where, where it's different. I, I want to make another point. Before contact, when Tommy Lee is in bed, what Charlie just said was Tommy said he got out of bed to say get out of the room. What I'm thinking is 
if they are that heated at that point, mm -hmm. it's odd to get out of bed and say, please get out of the room. They must have been really or angry at each other. Either that or the kid, or he was getting out of bed to say that, and maybe somebody mistook something because when you're when that, the stakes are that high. Exactly. Yeah, it gets, but I have a exactly. question. Exactly. I, I, just, I just want to button that point up, though, sure. that if Tommy Lee is coming at him to the door, from Tommy Lee's perspective, it could be, I want him out of the room. From Brandon's perspective, it could be, he's, he's coming at me. Right. So you could almost see there might be two points of view on this thing, and they each saw it differently. Um, this, 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 my question is, does Tommy Lee's history in any way affect the way his son might sort of interpret a, a move towards him like that? Like, Tommy Lee has gone to jail before yep. for, for violence against Pamela Anderson. To be honest, he was sentenced to jail for that back in the day. So... In, in this case, is he even believable in his side of the story in this thing? But I see that what I'm saying, Van, is look, I think that they both could be telling the truth, but their perception but they, uh, is different. Yeah, right. I see what you're and, saying. And, and, and if that's the case, it's very unlikely that they'd prosecute the kid. But, but you know, as, as we kind of like roll this thing out, there is a consistency in these stories. And the other thing that is consistent is that it is something that Tommy said about Pam that started this whole thing. That's it's right. Whatever Tommy was posting, we're saying about Pam is what ticked off Brandon, and that was the that's the, at the center of the battle. Hi, my name is Tayment, and I'm calling from New Jersey. I think it's really sad what's going on because regardless of what's happening, they're still family. Um, violence is never the answer, so it's unfortunate if the son hit the father or if the father hit the son. But I think the fact that we have all this information is what's even sadder. Tommy doesn't need to tweet about it. Brandon needs, doesn't need to talk about it. They just need to solve it between themselves because, like um, he said, it's a perception. They both believe whatever story it is that they're telling us. Yeah. So.